Hey everyone, so welcome to today's video. And um, today I wanted to talk about how to draw an, uh, a house like this in perspective. So what I normally do is then I start with a very rough sketch of a house. Let's see the brush and just use a nor normal brush for that. And um, yeah, let's think about something what we can make. Um, yeah, something. So then we can sketch in the main building. And maybe something like this. I want to use more or less the same perspective and I will come back to perspective uh, shortly. But then maybe something here on top. And in this phase, I don't worry about uh, it being uh, ugly or something. Just show a bit of this side. So I will explain it later. And then maybe at the door, just make a variation on the one on the on the left. So I start with this very ugly drawing, but then I have something to start with. So then I turn the opacity down. And then I start creating. Let's make this one a little, uh, this one a little bit smaller and put it here. So let's take the line tool here, and then we can add the line, make a new layer, and make a line somewhere here. So that is our horizon. Let's make it a bit lower. So there will go all the vanishing points too. So what is a vanishing point? The vanishing point is the point where the perspective lines disappear in. So if we have this corner here and we draw drag a line to this point, then we know that all these sides that are like this, vanishing in this point. So Let's draw some lines to this point. So take another color and create the finishing points for the other side. And then here, just add some quickly lines. And now, and now I'm doing it really fast. So, but you can easily also take a little bit more time to create. And also, what I also did here is a third perspective line. And that is, then you get this distorted effect. I zoom out a bit. That goes, that it looks bigger from the top. So yeah, that's the third perspective. So now we have this rough sketch. And now we can actually, we have an idea what we are going to draw. But now I can actually start with uh, adding the line. So first part, let's start here. What I did here, blocked in big shapes. So maybe I can take this color and start creating these big boxes. I think maybe this is a bit too big. So, and you can see that I follow the perspective, right? And maybe it needs some time, your brain needs some time to get used to it. But that's totally fine. I would advise to just play around a bit with it. So you can get uh, yeah, used to working in a perspective. So then also, and also for going up, follow these lines like this. And then we have this line that goes like this. This line going like this. So now we have, we can go up here and do it here. So it's almost a small church like building. Just follow here. So what I did here is here I made the middle of this thing and fill it up, and then I know this point. And then I can make, 
this point to this point and this point to this point. So I hope that's a bit clear. Um, but if, if it's hard, difficult, try really simple, simple things first. And I can draw the door in here and maybe there's this thing before the door, be a little tray. And also maybe just like the, in the original image, build this one out a bit, something like that. And also here, we get these funny shapes. Also here, maybe it's also funny to make this a bit alternative. I don't know, maybe just, no, oh, let's do it. Let's make it also a bit wonky. So now I have this. So I have those perspective lines, and let's turn those opacity a bit down. Also the opacity down of this layer, turn off the sketch. So now we are actually in the third stage here. So then you can take just a standard brush and start uh, drawing. Off. Let's make everything bigger. So what are the perspective lines? Like this. Let's merge those down. So like this. So I can barely see them. Turn this one down. Make everything bigger. Bigger. I think like this is fine. And then I can start working on it. So I try to be really quick because I just want them to show how I work with something like this. So take something like this, and then this line goes like that. Then here. And if you have any question, please share it in the, in the comments. So, and if I get more than 20 comments, uh, I'll pick uh, one comment out and give the person a free uh, ebook with drawing tips uh, from me. So I hope you people will start commenting. So let's add here this wooden uh, wooden sides like this here. So I just draw over the shape. So I decided to not use that strange shape. And, and you can change in this stage. And let's add here a line, and then we can add here all these stones in. And I'm just having fun, you know, just playing around. And then maybe add here, and uh, maybe I think we can fit two windows in here. So in here, make this this side a bit round, and we can touch this out, something like this. And here, give this a window like that. And then you know, oh, this goes, the perspective goes this, so this one is a bit smaller. Let's leave it now. And here we can add this bar, wooden, wooden bar, like all those old German houses have. Here we can add this, and then maybe here is a chimney that is all crooked. I don't know, maybe I'm now going a bit too extreme, but just to have some fun. Maybe there's, there's some, some stuff sticking out, some smoke going. And then maybe here at the door. And in this stage, you can be really sketchy and play around with, with everything. So may, maybe we can make this around like this, and then we can make another step around. And maybe another step. I think three is nice, but I think it's a bit too big. So take this thing and transform it with the transform tool, uh, control T. So make the selection with the lasso tool, L, select it, and then control T, T to change it a bit. So here, make this door and also add the window. And then we can see these windows are a bit higher and bigger. So take this whole thing 
make the pit bigger, place the pit up. And with transform tool, we can also pick, uh, hold control and then drag it a bit down so it gets, uh, so you can get the, the perspective right. And then you can think of these lines, how these lines go. So, and I, on my Instagram and in my book, I have some tips about perspective. And we'll make more tutorials and uh, in the future. And I'm just now showing quickly. How I think J Jimmy is a bit too big, so also less of two that make it bigger. So I'm still playing around with it, you see? So maybe maybe it's cool if we have the Jimmy make it smaller and let it come from the other side. Maybe we can could also put, put it up here. No, no sense. So I put it here. And I have this mirror key in action on my keyboard. So I can mirror stuff very quickly. I'm not really happy with the chimney yet, but for now let's have it like this. Um, and maybe, yeah, and then you can add lines here, and then you can add these things. And follow these perspective lines a bit. Something like this. So, and then we can maybe uh, we can add some uh, stones. And there's maybe a road going like this. And of course, you all always see in a tree trunk with an, uh, with an X in it, like I did there. And maybe there are some uh, some trees. And what did the tree do? I, I draw one line, an action line, and then I draw these construction shapes. And I also use this me method for drawing characters, drawing houses. Stuff like that you see, so you can draw the details in. So, and then if I have the sketch I like, and that's not really this yet, I would keep drawing and keep improving stuff and adding, adding stuff like this here. And think, oh, maybe here needs to be bulk. Maybe this needs to be smaller or bigger, and so on. Maybe it needs some more. Uh, yeah, it needs some more stuff. Maybe it needs a fence here, or maybe not. So then, uh, but then after this stage, I turn off the other layers, turn this really soft, and then I'm going to with the same brush, I start drawing on top of it and adding the details. But I follow those big shapes I do earlier, earlier in perspective. But that's basically how I draw houses or how I draw backgrounds or, or interiors um, and so on. So maybe some wood, maybe some things. Think, think also a bit of the texture here. So now, and maybe I, I erase it a bit and then fine tune it more. And it takes time. Take your time for it. Um, and so, and then let's imagine that this is then the final sketch. Then, then what I would do is with shading, is I pick a light source, maybe it's from here. So there's moonlight here. And then I make the brush bigger. Take, pick a gray uh, brush. And then I start to imagine if it's a box and how the shading would work. So this is dark, this is dark. Then this is dark. Maybe there's here some light and near the tree and this side is dark. There's also the light is coming from this to down like this. So here this is probably also dark and this is dark. Here this sides are dark from the tree and so on. So that is uh, how I would work. So um, 
I don't want, I didn't want to make this video too long. So um, that's, uh, um, um, yeah, that's it. And if you want to see more videos, you can go to my Patreon where I make longer lessons. Um, and if you become a patron, you get uh, access to all these videos. Uh, you can get there by going to patreon.com slash Or uh, I also made a book and it's about, uh, it's all also this uh, perspective uh, tips are in it and uh, what uh, kind of brushes uh, I use for uh, uh, painting characters like this and tips like that, small tips. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, leave a comment under this video to make a chance on that uh, on one version of the book. And I hope you liked it and subscribe and, and like it and uh, hopefully watch the next video. So thanks everyone and bye.